do you know how rag find similar context from the vector db and how to search in the vector databases as well so in this video i am explaining you all of this so hi guys welcome to freebirds view and welcome to the learn rag from scratch playlist in which i teach you about the rag and llm different domain projects from the basics to advanced level this is the third part of the playlist in which i explain about the vector embeddings and how to create vector vector embeddings and how to store those vector embeddings in the vector databases like chroma db or fas and how to search the vector dbs by using the vector search or the semantic search as well for to find the similar context for your prompts okay and in between i also showcase many kind of uh, uh, projects and also to create the vector embeddings for different type of data like images audios and uh, text as set so let's get started so first thing is what are vector embeddings so vector embeddings are the numerical representation of the data point that expresses different types of data as an array of numbers that only machines can understand okay so we convert the images text or audio into the numerical representations that machines can understand and also process as well so in the embedding space the synonyms or the like similar kind of words like uh, king or men queen or girl tend to appear in sim similar context because they are the kind of uh, uh, similar words as well and end up having a more similar embeddings it's not always identical but it is kind of uh, similar as well okay and do you know how to create those vector embeddings as well so we use the embedding models to create those vector embeddings that capture the inherent properties and the relationship of the original data in the condensed format that uh, machine learning or the our machines can easily understand as well okay so let me just uh, show you that uh, how to do the vector embeddings using the multiple type of uh, data so first is the image embeddings so in the image embeddings uh, we capture the visual features like the shapes colors the textures from the each of the pixel of the image to create those embeddings for example they might encode the contrast between the colors orange objects uh, being more similar to the yellow objects than the black objects so in that way just try to make the embed you see this kind of a photo that a cat you can create uh, embeddings from the cat from each of the pixel as well okay so that's how you create embeddings by using these kind of models like uh, uh, cnns or uh, transfer learning like we have the fine tuned models as well and auto encoders as well okay and then we have the audio embeddings in the audio embeddings it capture the audio signals like pitch and frequency as well okay for ex example they could encode the sound of the piano or the guitar to have a distinct numerical representation reflecting the acoustic features of each sound and enabling the differentiation as well on base of the amplitude or the pitch as well okay and we can use the spectrogram based uh, representations or uh, mf uh, ccs as well or uh, combined convolutional and re recurrent neural networks as well to build those kind of uh, audio embeddings as well okay and then we have the text embeddings so in the text embeddings we try to capture the semantic meaning of the words like uh, the actual meaning beh behind the words with their relationship with the other words as well for example they could encode the semantic similarities between the words such as king been closer to queen than to a car because we always say king and queen we don't say king and car in that way their semantic meanings are captured okay so let, let's just implement that uh, these diff diff different kind of embeddings using uh, python and langchain and i show you how to create those embeddings as well so guys if, if you see my screen so here we have the vector embeddings and we create the image embeddings first we use a, a pre-trained vision transformer model from the hugging face here that is called as vit and we first extract the feature extractor that extracts all the feature of the images and the, then we have the model that can create those embeddings as such okay so the very first thing we do here that we first open our image so this is my example image that i have which is of the solo leveling and uh, when we just open it we use the feature extractor to extract all the features and then with the help of the pytorch here we use this uh, uh vision transformer model to create those embeddings and when we just click it we just show you let how it do it that it loads the model first okay and uh, then it started creating the embeddings and here you see the embeddings as such okay this is the shape of the embedding these these are the embeddings you see so the that is how that it creates the uh, embedding of this whole picture here 
guys as well okay let me just uh, comment it was taking too much space okay so now the next thing is we have the image embeddings first for the image embeddings i use the wave to vec2 model that is the model that is made by facebook as the that can easily extract the uh, uh, kind of features or the embeddings from the uh, audio samples as well. so i have this small audio sample here and i use it to create those embeddings as well and if i just print this audio embedding you can see that i have this audio embedding as well the first thing it load this kind of a model and then started doing the uh, embedding on this kind of file as well and uh, here it shows my embedding here okay so here you see that it creates all the embeddings as well of the audio data as well okay that's how you create the audio embeddings as well and the next thing we have is the text embeddings we use a pre-trained BERT model here that is from the transformers library as well and that is our uh, text and for this text we want to create the embeddings and uh, the same thing we follow here we just print the text embedding you see it is in the numerical representations only at first load the model and then started doing the embeddings and uh, it loading the model completely again here and that's how the embeddings are done okay so now you know that how to create those embeddings by using the different types of data as well. asset okay so if you are trying to build a multi-model kind of a project as well so you can combine all these kind of em embeddings as well the image embeddings audio embeddings and text embeddings and make key create a combined embedding uh, has so it has like look it look like this okay so you can create a multi-model kind of uh, approach as well from here okay so now you know that how to create embeddings so now let's learn that how to store those embeddings in the vector db as well so vector databases such as the chroma db wav8 pinecone or the fas are the specialized databases designed to store and search the vector representation of the data after generating the embeddings or text images or audio you can store them in the vector db and use it to find the similar kind of context for your prompts and for your queries as well okay so let's store these embeddings in the database by using python and langchain and we'll use the chroma db and fais uh, vector db to store these kind of embeddings as well okay guys so here is the code guys that we have to use uh, the chroma db first and these are the steps we generate embeddings and initialize the db insert data and then query okay so first we use the chroma db so i just uh, load the chroma db from the langchain library along with the hugging face embeddings as well i just initialize my uh, chroma db here D this is my uh, temp uh, like a simple sample data here as well and i add all the documents into my chroma db here as well so it's just a simple command that add documents command is here it can add all these kind of a documents in, into your chroma db as well convert your data frame as well into the document format only then you will be able to add those data into the chroma db here as well and when you want to search anything you just do the similarity search kind of a function here and it, it will return you to the uh, context and the result as well okay and you see here i ask what is the tesla mission it result tesla mission is to accelerate the world transmission and sustainable energy so that's how it gives you the exact result by choosing the chroma db here and if you use the FAS, the FAS is uh, created by the Facebook here and it, it uses a sentence transformer to create the embeddings. So I have this kind of a document uh, list here that contains the dictionaries and uh, I just uh, load the text along with the IDs and create the embeddings of my text as well. And for those embeddings, I put those em embeddings into my uh, FAS DB. The, the first thing is I initialize my FAS index here. Uh, to initialize FAS, FAS index, the first thing is I need to know about the dimensions of the embeddings and also set the index of the FAS as well. I use the L2 distance matrix that will be able to measure the similar kind of embeddings in the vector DB so that when I whenever I just uh, a query just just like this so it be it will be able to find the similar kind of context in the vector db by using the l2 distance matrix then i add all my embeddings in into the fast db by using the add function here and when i search for the what is status transmission and try to encode it and try to search it as well because i first encode my query and find the similar kind of context in the vector db by using the search function it returns the distances along with the 
uh, indices as well. And you see the result is Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world transition to stable energy. This has the least distance as well. So that means it is the closest to our query. So that is the perfect response for our query as well. It has the larger kind of distance. So that might be not be our correct answer as well. So now you know that how to create embeddings and how to store them. Then now it's time to learn how to search them in the vector DBs as well. So we start with the what is vector search. So whenever a user submits a query, it converted into the vector using the same embedding model that embed the whole data set and you put in the vector DB as well. Okay. And we use the algorithms like uh, approximate nearest neighbor neighbors or the cosine similarity Euclidean distance L L2 distance to find the similar vectors to the query vector we have. Okay. And there is an another term as well that is also called as semantic search as well. So the semantic search is a technique that goes beyond the vector search or the keyword matching search to understand the query meaning along with the context. So it use the transformers or the large language model to interpret the query and the data intent and the context to understand the semantic behind the query and it enables the system to get the results based on the meaning not only on the just exact words. Okay, so let me just show you the complete difference uh, between the semantic search and the vector search as well. So if you just see this that uh, we have the semantic search that focuses on un understanding the intent and the meaning and the vector search it is totally based on the vector similarity that is word to word uh, similarity as well and we have that technology that the semantic search use the uh, large language models or the like embedding models um, as well but the vector search uses uh, the simple similarity measures only like uh, a cos cosine similarity Euclidean distance L2 distance as well okay and we have the semantic search that uh, requires advanced NLP and the training models but a vector search can be work in a very much simpler way as well okay so le let me just show you that in python code that how these two are completely different and we created two different kind of pro uh, projects as well on the movie the data set here so here we have the vector search versus sem uh, semantic search as well the vector search it searched and converts the query to embedding using the same vectorization model as that database and then we have the vector search that use the sentence transformers for to do the embedding generations as well and in the semantic search that use the large language model it does does not use any kind of vectorization model or the uh, sentence transfer model it uses the large language model to understand and reformulate the queries and it uses the models like gpt as well to understand the semantic meaning the context be behind the query as well it does not go from the word to word matching as well it goes from the intent or the context matching as well okay so Let's just build a project on the vector search for a movie database here. So we create a vector uh, based system from a movie database. We use the LangChain Chroma DB and let's try to build a project. I just see here this is a like small example. That's how we just segregate everything based on the uh, embeddings as well. Okay. So first thing is to ingest the movie data. So we have this small uh, data here as well. The second thing is to create the uh, this data into the document format so that we can store it into the Chroma DB. As I just told you above as well, when we are like uh, uh, storing that data into the vector DB, that uh, the data should be in the document format. And after doing it, we just try to load the sentence transformer to create the embeddings. And then we just add our all the documents into it along with the embedding model as well. So that's how we create a vector store. And now we have the vect vector store with this kind of data along with its embeddings. Now, if, if we have a vector query, so we just search by vector search. It choose the similarity search. It can be anything like cosine similarity, L2 distance, Euclidean distance as well. Okay. It just works by that. Okay. So if I just uh, write a query, a story about dreams and reality. So in that way, just choose the vector search. And the second qu query is a thrilling space adventure. So in that way, I want to get the uh, response based on these two queries. So the first thing is I get the inception and the interstellar that is about the dreams and reality you see the 
द रिस्पॉन्स इज नॉट क्वाइट गुड बिकॉज ड्रीम्स एंड रियलिटी कैन ऑनली बी हैपन इन द इंसेप्शन बट नॉट इन द इंटरस्टेलर ओके सो दैट्स वाई दिस वैक्टर सर्च बिकॉज इट इज ऑनली बेस्ड ऑन द वर्ड्स इट डज नॉट कैप्चर द सीमेंटिक मीनिंग ओके एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द थ्रिलिंग स्पेस एडवेंचर देन इट इज ऑनली द इंटरस्टेलर नॉट द इंसेप्शन ओके सो दैट्स हाउ द वैक्टर सर्च वर्क बिकॉज इट वर्क बाय द सिमिलैरिटी सर्च ओके नाउ लेट्स work on the semantic search so we have the same kind of uh, data here as well we load the sentence uh, a sentence uh, transformer model to create the embeddings we just do the same thing convert into the document format store store it into the chroma db but here here we don't use the similarity search we use a large language model so for that we load a flan t5 large language model here and create a llm function out of it and use the vector db as a retriever here and when i pass my query here as well along with the context that that it find from the vector db it find me movies about the astronaut struggling in the space so when i just uh, run this query it give me the result about the interstellar so that's a quite a right picture that we want from it because it is the only movie about the astronauts that that are struggling to survive in the space as well okay so that's how the semantic search and the uh, vector search works because the vector search works on the similarity my my years but the semantic search works on the large language models as well okay guys so in our next video we'll learn about the retrieval strategies that how to retrieve the data from the vector db by using multiple techniques or multiple algorithms as well that can be the ann as well or like dot dot product cosine similarity mean distance many kind of ag algorithms are there so we need to need to know that how to search with them and how to retrieve that data that it is contextually correct for your prompt or the query as well okay guys and if you want to know more about the prompt engineering generative ai data science and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read read, read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much